Hello, you are watching the News Daily Broadcast and following are the headlines. President Chuan Tun Sang makes a fact-finding trip to inspect the dike network in the Mekong Delta provinces. Southeast Asian nations celebrate New Year in Hanoi. A display of model planes and ships marks the opening of Hui Festival. On April 7, President Chung Tan Sang made a flight fighting trip to inspect the dye network in the Mekong Delta provinces. The three hour tour by helicopter started from Ho Chi Minh City and ended in the southernmost province of Ko Mau, where the President was updated on investment for upgrading and extending the dikes as well as their construction. He was also informed of the economic benefits that the network of dikes brings about. In Kormang province, President Sang met with people in Dat Mui commune in Nuk Hien district and praised them for their efforts and creativity in growing and protecting the mangrove forests, as well as the work they have done reinforcing the dikes. He advised the local people to reclaim any available land and use the natural resources in these areas to help promote socio-economic development as well as urging the local community to monitor and upgrade the date network. On April 6, Minister of Natural Resources and Environment Nguyen Ming Quang and other senior ministry officers answered public questions about land use policies and the environmental effects of production on the government website. In response to concerns related to the expiration of agricultural land grants by 2013, Quang said those who were granted land in 1993 and wished to continue agricultural activities will be allowed to continue land use. However, he said there will be adjustments in some cases, such as for households in which members stop farming or move to other places or households in which members die. Regarding a complaint about the slow progress in the granting of land use certificates for some housing development projects, both Minister Kwang and Chen Hong Fi, head of the Department for Registration and Statistics under the General Department of Land Administration, admitted that these procedures are generally slow. In response to an inquirer from Central Khenghua Province, who asked for solutions towards the pollution of air, land and water caused by many industrial zones, Deputy Minister Bui Kekden said there are adequate legal documents regulating the punishment for violations in environmental pollution. Dean added that recent inspections have been made in 46 out of 55 provinces where industrial zones are located and the results have been reported to local people's committees and the police for further investigation. The Vietnam Union of Friendship Organizations, in conjunction with the embassies of Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Myanmar, held a get-together in Hanoi on April 6 to celebrate the four countries' traditional New Year. Representatives from the Union sent New Year's greetings to the peoples of these countries. They said similar events will help to strengthen the mutual understanding, solidarity and friendship between Hanoi's and the international neighbors, especially countries in the Mekong River subregion. The Lao Ambassador to Vietnam thanked the Union for organizing the event. He said it has helped to promote the tradition of friendship that exists between Southeast Asian countries. Those taking part in the celebrations took part in traditional rituals, including tying threads around one's wrists and splashing each other with water. They also attended several special cultural performances and ate traditional foods from all the four countries. The traditional New Year for these countries takes place in mid-April. A task force from the Russian Pacific Fleet anchored at Saigon Port in Ho Chi Minh City on April 6, beginning a goodwill visit to Vietnam. The task force, led by the destroyer the Admiral Tributes, accompanied by the tanker Pechenga and the tug MB-37, will stay for six days. 
During their visit, the Russian naval officers will lay a floral tribute at the monument to President Ho Chi Minh and pay a courtesy visit to Ho Chi Minh City's leaders. They will also visit the commanders of Military Zone 7 and Naval Zone 2, as well as several cultural and historical sites around the city. Experts have called for Vietnam to clarify policies that support farmers and agricultural enterprises instead of putting too much emphasis on growth targets. The Kong came as part of a draft proposal on restructuring the sector to become more sustainable and market-oriented by 2020. According to the Ministry of Agricultural Development and Rural Planning, despite years of rapid growth, the rate of agricultural GDP decreased from 4% annually in the period 1995-2000 to 3.83% in the 2001-2005 and 3.3% in 2006-2010. The ministry suggested the livestock, fishery, forestry and soil production sectors move to large-scale production, encourage private investment and public-private partnerships, apply science and technology policies, and provide preferable credit and loan policies. Rune Bank Country Director Victoria Kwakwa said there is not enough focus on the policy elements particularly the kind of policies to encourage farmers and other smallholders to increase value-added production. Saying the poor are left behind the strategy, some participants argued that focus remained on growth instead of shifting to address how the sector will adapt to climate change, address the issue of food safety and the type of policy environment that encourages investors. Around 242 million US dollars will be injected into building Guangning International Airport in Vendon Island District, northeastern Guangning Province, according to official plans. Under the plan, the airport will have the runways long enough to accommodate the new Boeing 777s. The construction will be carried out in two phases, with the first about to begin and the second phase scheduled for 2020. By 2020, the airport will have at least four aprons and be able to handle 2 million passengers and 10,000 tonnes of goods per annum. By 2030, it will be expanded to seven aprons with the capacity to handle 5 million passengers and 30,000 tonnes per year. The first phase will cost 160 million US dollars, nearly two thirds of the entire budget. A display of model planes and ships was held in the Huang River in the imperial city of Hue on April 7, opening this year's week-long Hue Festival. Featuring more than 120 model planes and ships, the display is by far the country's largest to date and has attracted thousands of visitors and local residents. The official opening ceremony takes place on the main stage at the Royal Citadel on April the 7th and features an evening performance of music and dancing entitled Royal Citadel Night. It is being held between April 7th to 15th and the biannual event, the seventh of its kind, is an important cultural and tourist festival. A range of events are scheduled including exhibitions of fine art, and numerous other cultural activities that highlight Vietnam's unique cultural identity. This, in combination with an extensive selection of international artists, will undoubtedly promote tourism and socio-economic development. According to the organising board, the festival has put together a fascinating collection of outstanding Vietnamese artists, especially Hue's Royal Court Art, and other characteristics from Vietnam and countries overseas. This year's event has attracted over 40 different groups of performers from nearly 30 countries. And that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.